Alrighty, mateys, welcome back to Klepto Stash, where we review the best of the best applications, extensions, add-ons, and services. And today we'll be talking about an RSS reader called Bazquox Reader. That is as good as Google Reader was. Uh, don't rely on Google, please don't. Let's check it out, shall we? Bazquox Reader, fast, clean, and unique feed reader check out the interface and this is just one of the views that it gives you let's get into the features clean user interface we designed the reader to make sure that nothing disturbs you from reading with many features it stays clean and doesn't get in your way fast Baz Quarks reader is one of the fastest readers on the market it gives you a fast interface fast feed updates and fast sync with apps mobile desktop apps needs a Linux app. I have to talk to him about that. Uh, for all you iOS, Android, and Mac users out there, it's got apps for you. Full text articles. Read the full content of the truncated feeds inside the reader, powered by readability. This is great. So you, you click on an article that you're interested in, and you, uh, you hit a shortcut, or you hit the readability button, and instead of you getting a little snippet of the article, you get the full article that you can read. Uh, multiple view modes, you can choose your view for each feed. That's awesome. List, mosaic, magazine, expanded, and mixed views for folders and the latest stream. Read the comments. Yes, you can read the comments right inside the reader. And it will track what was read and display only the new comments next time. Just like with posts. Subscribe to Twitter, Google+, Facebook, and all the niceties share and read later uh, share articles via email facebook google plus twitter save to, to pocket instapaper evernote or pinboard tag and star organize articles with stars or tags let's say you tag this one as awesome tag the next one as uh... check it out later or you can star it just to archive it search through fees folders tags item unread or all quick start sign in Find your favorite feeds or import of the uh, OPML file and just start reading. Let's check out the interface. This one in particular is mine. And uh, I have a, a, a massive feed that I use for uh, personal as well as business. And this one is just for my technology. And this is all my items right here uh, because I don't have any new ones at the moment that I know of. I just wanted to have something to show you here. Check how fast this is. You see that? You don't really have to scroll this fast. But you see there's no pausing. There's no loading. There's no waiting. You can scroll as fast as your eye can keep up. It is excellent. It updates like zero minute, like every five minutes. What is that? I just saw something interesting. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is great. It has different views. Let's check out some of the different views here. Uh, okay. You see this one? This one is expanded view with comments. This one is expanded views. No comments here. This one is mag magazine view. See? Looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Not my style, though. Mos Mosaic view interesting interesting and my favorite list view as we were just taking a look at and you, and you see here if I go back to show new I don't have any new items I'm just showing you the ones I already have go to show all again let me just keep scrolling here for a minute just to show you how great this is just keep scrolling I'm gonna keep scrolling and keep talking I normally get about uh, about 8,000 articles um, when I wake up in the morning. And it takes me about two hours to go through them all. I go through them all pretty fast, and I pick the ones I like. Um, and well, since it updates every five minutes, you can get a lot of articles. I mean, once I got started on this, it just got massive. Have I paused yet? Has it started loading yet? No, it hasn't. And you look over here. That was an article a day ago. And it even tells you the time period. Now, 
you probably ask yourself, hey, where are all the features you described? Well, of course you see the search thing here. But see this little itty bitty button right here? Click this, bam, you got the help, it tells you all the shortcuts. You want to feedback and say, hey, this is broken, or hey, you know, add this feature. You can do that through here as well. You can re recommend some things, mobile login, filters and streams is a new feature where you can filter out the crap you don't want, or only filter the stuff you do want. Subscriptions, where you can show all or only show updated. It actually gives you the exact feed counts. Oh, um, I have thousands of feed articles in my folder, so I need that. You can sort the feed so things don't get all out of line. You can have a public feed for you know whatever you want. Export your OPML file to back it up. Very important. Clear subscriptions every now and then is needed. Transitions. It just depends on how fast you want things to sort of move in this reader. Different list views where normal is kind of uh, this normal list view is kind of wide. Compact gets a little narrower, and ultra compact gets ridiculously narrow. Uh, and then you can mark things as read your items as scroll, or if you click on them, sign out. The features are there, and, and uh, the developer just keeps adding features. Um, a great RSS reader, really just as good as Google Reader was, but don't rely on Google. All all their services will die out in the end, and you'll be uh, there holding the bag going, why, why, why? So check it out, bazcoaxreader.com, and if you'd like to live on the uh, wild side or the bleeding edge like I do, they have a beta page, beta.bazcoaxreader.com, so you can see what's coming up in development, and you can, you can test this out for free, but if you want to uh, keep it, it's only $9 a year. $9 a year. How cheap is that? You could pay 19 a year, or you could pay whatever you want to a year, but the default is $9 a year. And developer making this kind of great RSS reader needs $9 or more. Come on, give me a break here. This is excellent. I've been using this for a while now, and I, I love it. I love it. When the Google Reader died, I tried out every RSS reader out there. And the only one, really, that is as good as this one is I Know Reader. I Know Reader. But, uh... I, I've tested out both of these, but I like this one a little bit better. Uh, it's just faster. It's not choppy, and it, it you know there's no time for loading and no wasted time. You get straight to business, looking at the things you're interested in. So check it out, Baz Clux Reader. And uh, as you scroll through all your different feeds and stuff, it will it will show updates right in front of your face. You don't have to click on anything, you don't have to do anything, the updates will be right there for you. One of the best RSS readers I've ever used, check it out, bazquux.com. I've been Klepto, you've been cool, and as always, you can catch me over at the Linux Distro Community chat room in Freenode. I'm there as Kleptos. I'll see you again soon.